Hello friends, welcome back to We Student Blog. So in this uh, VMware Horizon series, in this <coughs> we'll be working on uh, set uh, like configuring and uh, set up uh, app volumes four, and we are using a uh, volume four dot four dot four. And uh, in my, in our previous video, we saw that <coughs> we have installed. Uh, we have installed uh, app volume and uh, in this video we will be working on configuring the app volume so so this is our uh, app volume server where we have installed app volume in our previous video so this is windows 2019 box uh, so we will be now we will be working on configuring the app volumes <coughs> So we are on the con console for uh, app volumes. Click on get started. Once you click this, we'll be able to see a couple of tabs here: license, uh, <coughs> AD domain, admin, admin roles, machine manager, storage, settings, everything. So <coughs> first, we'll see a license. So here, this is the evolution copy and uh, all the user hundred. If you are having a license copy, <coughs> a license file, then you need to choose the license file. I'm going to the path, so I already have uh, the license with me, which I downloaded. So, so I will select the license and just click on upload. <coughs> so, license uploaded. Once the license uploaded, you are able to see that users are five fifty thousand. So this is enterprise license. Uh, so <coughs> and uh, next is AD domains. So we need to provide the domain controller name, everything. So here, what we'll do is like we'll give the domain control details. So here, like mine is uh, if you see here dc.com is the domain controller yeah so we'll put that same no need to mention the host name username is uh, we'll give our administrator or you can you can i can give the video admin so and password so I recommend not to use administrator so okay so here we'll be using uh, LDAP insecure <coughs> and I'll try to register it now <coughs> so if everything is fine then you will be able to see that it got registered successfully so click on next and uh, now it, it's <coughs> it's for admin roles so there uh, you can search for the container what uh, like uh, if you see here we go like uh, we have a role search domain and search group you can provide a uh, like uh, administrator privileges to a group or even you can provide it for a particular domain so well, let's add any group which have the which we require so let me try first uh, <coughs> Mistake. Uh, let me pull the group name. Okay, so here, like if you see here, uh, like role grant administrative privilege to the members of the release, only users in this group will be able to log into the manager. So here, what we can do is like uh, you can search for all like 
all the available groups in the active directory if you don't know which group you, you, you want to give the privileges so if you do that then you'll be able to see the all groups available in your ad listed here so yeah uh, for me like uh, i can go for domain admins uh, like who will be managing the things uh, in the in the um, app volume so if it is in production definitely you should have a group uh, which which apart from like not a domain admin but uh, any other domain any other group where you have to give the permissions uh, for the particular people so yeah this is done and uh, next step we have added it and next step is uh, machine managers so here <coughs> if you click type you will be able to see uh, like couple of uh, options like a vCenter server uh, you can select a vCenter server or if you want to do it on a ESXA single host then you can select ES, ES, ESXA box and even VHT in guest services so for for us we have a vCenter so obviously I will be giving a vCenter name so it's vc.tc.com that's what our vCenter is so let me check yeah vc.tc.com UI. okay we'll fix it no problem so this is the domain bc.dc.com so username is like a, I will use VTI admin dc slash VDI admin and password okay so make sure that you have provided fully qualified domain name uh, username password and you can leave rest of the things uh, default and click save so it will ask for certificate I just accept it everything is fine then obviously you'll be able to see that vCenter is registered successfully and click next so storage so here if you see configure storage options for package writable volumes and app stacks so here important information is use storage that is accessible to all virtual machines host servers so local host storage may be used but volumes will only be attached for, for VMs on that host so if you have uh, multiple ESXi hosts with uh, multiple VMs obviously you need to select the shared LAN or shared volume uh, where uh, uh, which is accessible accessible by all ESXi boxes make sure that they're accessible or else what happens is uh, if you select a, a local data store for an ESXi box uh, the other VMs may not be access, able to access, access the uh, like uh, uh, app volume uh, app volume uh, VMD case uh, uh, attached so make sure that you, you just keep in mind that what you're doing make sure that all uh, like uh, whatever the shield run is available to uh, all uh, all the ESXA boxes so I'm selecting data store one uh, because I have only one ES ESXA box with uh, one data store so we'll leave all uh, defaults as it is and we'll click next as I said if everything is fine then obviously it will it will be successful uh, just set defaults import volumes in background just set defaults okay and everything is fine then it will be registered and you will be able to see that listed here So just select all and just click upload if you don't know what is which one has to be uploaded because uh, 
so after this uh, now that the storage location has been configured the templates need to be uploaded so we need to select a data store in most cases it will be the same one selected in the previous step if you if we previously set up vCenter you can select the vCenter option which will use the credentials uh, we entered for the machine manager to access the data store via vCenter and upload the template uh, so at the bottom we need to select the template that uh, we plan to use uh, if you are not sure then simply we need to import all uh, all of them so that uh, uh, we have them ready in case we need to use them so uh, mostly they are just 200 MB uh, in size so I will select all and just click upload and uh, it will ask for this and just click upload and it's done so so <coughs> just we'll wait for the next screen so the last step is like uh, settings so the last step uh, is settings for uh, app volume manager settings in most cases this can be left at the default setting but uh, be sure to read them to determine if any anything should be adjusted for uh, for uh, for your for your use case so when when we see here everything looks fine for me and uh, just save it if you want to see any advanced settings you can click on this but uh, nothing to be changed so just click on save so <coughs> It's done. So at this point, uh, uh, App Volume 4 is installed and ready to use uh, to start creating app stacks. So yeah, okay. So I hope uh, uh, that uh, this video is helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, any suggestions and queries, please reach out to me on uh, vstudentblog at gmail.com and. Uh, Please do subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.